The universe captivates us primarily due to its boundless expanse. Within it, there exists an abundance of planets and celestial objects, far surpassing our comprehension in terms of quantity. However, can we truly assert the idea of infinite space without question? The findings of NASA's space probes, New Horizons, and Voyager 2 might prompt us to reconsider the widely accepted notion of an endless universe. So what exactly did these spacecraft discover in the vast realms of space? Let's explore this intriguing topic together. If you appreciate our content, kindly show your support by giving us a thumbs up, subscribing to Cosmos Prodigy, and anticipating more future videos. In the farthest reaches of our solar system, as suggested by some experts, there exists a remarkable structure that poses significant questions for astronomers. This structure is often described as a hydrogen wall, positioned at the outermost boundary of our solar neighborhood. Astronomical scholars concur that this cosmic wall might mark the physical limit of our ancient solar system. To delve into this further, let's explore the region where the sun's radiant energy no longer possesses the strength to penetrate the amassed matter. As we are aware, our planetary system's central star, the Sun, serves as a source of galactic energy. The Sun's rays extend over millions of kilometers, supplying essential energy to the planets and celestial bodies within its reach. Nevertheless, there comes a point where even the Sun's potent rays encounter a spatial threshold where their influence wanes. Beyond this point, the solar system can no longer push back or traverse the matter in the surrounding regions. This results in a discernible boundary, signifying the conclusion of our solar system. On one side of this galactic boundary, we can observe the last remnants of the solar wind, while in the opposing region, interstellar matter, including hydrogen, once again becomes prevalent. The concept of a galactic boundary like this has sparked considerable debate within the scientific community for an extended period. However, the limitations of technology in the past prevented a comprehensive demonstration of the scientific hypothesis regarding the boundary of our solar system. About five years ago, NASA's New Horizons spacecraft traversed the vicinity around Pluto. Given that New Horizons ventured so deep into the outskirts of our solar system, experts were hopeful that the mission might finally lead to the discovery of the enigmatic boundary of our planetary system. Indeed, the spacecraft successfully detected additional ultraviolet light in the farthest reaches of our solar system. For scientists, this observation lent support to the idea that a hydrogen wall might have formed in close proximity. The Voyager probes, which NASA dispatched into space in the late 1970s, had previously yielded similar data. While the information collected by New Horizons fueled further speculative discussions, some astronomers caution against drawing hasty conclusions. Although the presence of this ultraviolet light is a noteworthy indication in support of the theory regarding the observable limit of our solar system, the data gathered thus far do not provide conclusive proof. Indeed, Voyager 2, which has been journeying through space for over four decades, managed to approach the area that could potentially mark the elusive boundary of our solar system about two years ago. The data sent back to Earth by this venerable space probe revealed the awe-inspiring nature of this border region within our planetary system. According to the data, this region appears to resemble a galactic furnace characterized by vast quantities of searing hot plasma. Voyager 2 recorded temperatures exceeding 49,000 degrees Celsius during its passage through this region. Fortunately, the spacecraft's heat shields proved robust enough to shield it from the destructive effects of these extreme temperatures. It's believed that the plasma present in this region made its way there via solar winds. However, Voyager 2's sojourn in this captivating region did pose a significant technical challenge. NASA, for instance, reported that the unmanned probe, currently situated nearly 18 billion kilometers from our home planet, became ensnared in a wall of intensely hot plasma. Nonetheless, the spacecraft, though unmanned, continues to diligently collect valuable data and transmit it back to Earth. While it seems plausible that our solar system possesses a discernible boundary, it prompts the question of whether this concept extends to the entire universe. Historically, science has concluded that the universe is continually expanding. 
However, this raises the intriguing question, into what space is the universe expanding? To address this inquiry, experts employ various approaches. If indeed, the universe has a well-defined edge, one might contemplate whether there exists a point in space where one could observe what lies beyond the confines of the universe. To illustrate this notion more vividly, envision the universe as a compact structure, akin to a building. Is there a window or a balcony within this enclosed structure that provides a vantage point to gaze upon the region beyond the closed universe? In all likelihood, such a scenario does not exist. Consider the balloon analogy for a moment. This analogy finds justification in the cosmological principle, which essentially asserts that the distribution of matter in the universe appears the same to an observer, regardless of their vantage point. Within the scientific community, this concept is known as isotropy, and most experts concur that our universe exhibits this isotropic quality. The cosmological principle operates under the assumption that the laws of physics are uniform throughout the universe. Following this line of reasoning, the existence of a distinct edge of the universe can be ruled out. So how can we conceptualize the physical structure of our universe? To elucidate this topic in simpler terms, astronomers often employ an analogy grounded in our everyday experience. Picture a balloon with a tiny insect perched on its surface. This small creature can wander in any direction for an indefinite period without ever encountering a clearly defined boundary of the balloon. To the insect, it appears that its surroundings are virtually boundless. Despite the fact that the surface of a balloon is finite in size, it lacks visible edges or a central point for the little creature. Many researchers contend that this balloon analogy can be applied to our universe's nature. How can the universe be rapidly expanding when it has no discernible boundaries? To delve into this question, we need to depart from our terrestrial understanding of dimensions. When something grows on Earth, it expands outward into three-dimensional space. However, the universe, by definition, encompasses everything that exists. There is no outside. The universe does not expand into a surrounding space. Rather, space itself becomes larger and more expansive. We define the region of the universe that we can observe from our vantage point as the observable universe. This enables us to peer 46 billion light years in any conceivable galactic direction, while everything beyond this radius remains beyond our earthly sight. Since the universe is continually expanding, causing the distances between celestial objects to grow, we won't be able to increase the radius of the observable universe in the future either. If, contrary to all assumptions, the universe does have a boundary, we may never see it due to this ongoing expansion. The question of whether the universe is an infinite structure remains a subject of debate among experts. Some researchers propose that the universe could effectively wrap around itself in a higher dimension. This would imply that our universe is a three-dimensional space enveloped by a four-dimensional space. If, one day, scientists manage to identify two points in opposite regions of the sky that exhibit the same characteristics, this would bolster the theory of a curved universe. What are your thoughts on this? Share your opinions in the comments below.